Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Chris here from the YouTube channel Sabrosa. Today I wanted to talk about a METOL test for testing mushrooms to see if they contain psilocin or psilocybin. I have a scientific experiment set up here. I know this is a bit of a departure from my normal esoteric and alchemical content. It's my personal belief that many psychoactive substances and experiences played a large part in esoteric history. Um, for example, the Eleusinian Mysteries and the Oracle at Delphi. I believe that psychoactive and psychedelic experiences have played a large role in some of these, uh, some of these initiations. So I, I bought this book. I found this on eBay for five dollars with free shipping. It's a fantastic little book, Magic Mushrooms, A Guide to Twelve Hallucinogenic Species of the Pacific Northwest. And this is this is written by Everett Cardell and Robin Stitely. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can where you can pick up your pick up your own copy. This is published by Last Word Press, and they're out of Olympia, Washington. So I'm I'm reading in this new booklet that I got, and I'll just I'll just read to you a little bit out of here. A chemical test with metal can show the bluing more prominently. This substance can be purchased in photo supply stores in crystal form. The crystals are dissolved in 20 times their weight of water, but since the solution is unstable, only a quantity that is to be used immediately should be mixed. A piece of the stem or cap is added to the solution. When the test is positive, a dark bluish violet will appear within 30 minutes. A reaction will occur with other species, including commercial mushrooms, but the color obtained will be a dark red or reddish brown. This test should be used as a safeguard after field identification has been made. For example, Psilocybe spadica has many of the same field characteristics as other Psilocybe, such as purple-brown spore print, and in in curved margin, and when young, a small fruiting body. But Spadica is an edible species containing no psilocybin. Consequently, it gives a negative metal test, the solution remaining completely clear. So, so uh, when I, before I purchased the, before I purchased the metal online, and, and I purchased this, um, I purchased this from eBay, and this was like ten dollars with free shipping, so it's not, it's not crazy expensive. But before I purchased the metal, um, I did as much research as was possible, and I didn't see any other videos um, talking about this topic. Uh, certainly not experiments. I think a couple people mentioned it, but. I haven't seen any experiments like this on YouTube. Uh, I, I did, I did read what was available mostly on on forums and blogs, and and really there there's quite a bit of naysayers, and and their point is that people should learn mushroom identification, and um, I guess my point is that I see it as an additional tool uh, for mushroom identification. And, and if this works, um, I would be interested in, in designing a, a small field test with some, maybe with some smaller test tubes than these and uh, creating a fill line. I'll know where to put the water and then carry them on hikes. So, so basically what I'm going to do here is I have a couple little tiny mushrooms that I found in the neighbor's grass. And, and when I found them, I thought to myself, I really think that these are, these are psilocybe mushrooms and um, that they might contain psilocybin and these are these are a couple dried morel mushrooms that i got from the mushroomery um, they're they're at the um, farmer's market at uh, every wednesday at the people's co-op in portland um, i've got my little mortar and pestle here got a couple jars and some test tubes and my metal and a digital scale so I'm going to make one parts metal, 20 parts water, and put it in these test tubes here. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take this whole mushroom and throw it in here, as well as I'm going to grind one of them up. We're going to see if that has any, has any difference in the coloring. So um, I'm going to grind these up real quick, measure out some, measure out some uh, metal and some, and uh, 20 parts water, and then we'll put this all together and see how it works. Thank you. 
10 minutes here and you can see that um, the VTOL test is working and that I was correct and the, the couple little mushrooms that I grabbed from the neighbor's lawn were in fact, do in fact contain psilocybin or psilocin and you can see that, you can see that the test works a lot better so here I have, here I have some of the, of the mushroom that I ground up and then this is the whole mushroom. This is a ground up mushroom and a whole mushroom. So and we can see that this METOL test does, does a little bit better when it's a ground up mushroom. And, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, I'll, I'll experiment with, with wet mushrooms and see, see how that works. But um, I, think that, I think that from this test, we can conclude that, uh, that the METOL test does work. I saw, I saw a lot of speculation online from people that hadn't actually done the test talking about the test would cause the the stem the bluing of the stem to be more prominent whereas I, the booklet talked about it would color the water and so I wasn't sure if it was going to it, it was going to bring out the the blue bruising in the in the stem or if it was going to actually color the water and I think that we have our answer here that it actually colors the water so uh, the only downside to the metol is that it's not something you can just pour down the drain pretty fascinating that um, this metol is a is a chemical that they use for exposing film and um, I thought it was pretty fascinating how well this worked and it certainly worked really well here and you can see that there's this purple color and that you can see there's maybe like this brown color here so just as the book described so um, you know it's not it's not the only test you'd want to use if you if you were out you know searching for mushrooms um, you would you would use all of the regular you know field examinations and then you could use this as a further test if you still weren't sure um, of course once you've put these mushrooms in this liquid they're they're now garbage um, you can't you know you can't ingest them the metal is pretty um, toxic stuff so uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my video if you want to uh, leave me your comments with your ideas uh, that'd be really great I would appreciate that and if you want to like share and subscribe that'd be really awesome too if you know a forum or somebody that would be interested in checking out this video, I think that'd be really cool if you could share it for me. That'd be awesome. So uh, thanks again for taking the time to watch my video. Hope that you're all doing well out there. I'll talk to you soon. LBX. Just might get some sleep.